Hey y'all, what's going on? Trevelio here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, well, welcome back to y'all and welcome back to me. It's been a little, it's been around three months since my last, uh, since my last vlog or upload even. Uh, you know, I keep, seems like the more I say I'm gonna do one every week, the longer it goes before the next one. <clears throat> so I'm not gonna give any of that. I want to give a, a quick update on things. Um, I wasn't planning on this being a strictly a League of Legends update. Wanted to update. Well, it'll probably be mostly League of Legends update. Anyway, still plat one, hovering around. Ooh, for a good amount of time, I was hovering above 75 LP. Now I'm back down to around 30, 40. It feels like this is where I belong. Um, like I think if everything goes well, if I get really lucky, I can be in diamond playing how I'm playing now. But truth is, playing how I'm playing now, I belong. In plat one I'm not that jump I can't make that jump based on pure skill um, you know when I first started this channel I wanted it to be part learning and part like um, analyzing what it takes to get better <clears throat> last season the, the theme I wanted to really or the point I wanted to make was that you only get better by trying to get better um, this season I'm failing myself in that uh, I, I'm sort of playing as if I'm as good as I can be, which is a mistake, obviously. Um, like, there's a big difference between feeling you can be diamond and working towards being diamond. Like, um, and I think that's just a poor attitude and a poor, uh, a poor competitive culture, really. It, it, it's like somehow someone who doesn't try as hard is better than someone who tries really hard and achieves the same thing uh that that comes from like a lot of like to me like i consume a lot of media media where the, like the the lovable slacker who achieves without really trying and that was such a trope i went after so now it's i guess it's kind of catching up to me because now that it's time to really put in work put in put in time be disciplined to try to be better, I'm somehow reverting or regressing back to an attitude where I'll be as good as I am, or I am as good as I am, and I'll be better, and I I don't have to try to be better because I'll eventually just be better because of who I am, which is a terrible, terrible attitude to have, but I think that's what's causing my issues. Uh, another issue is just the lack of practice. Uh, um... Uh, I didn't, after the mage changes, I felt like I sort of wasn't as good as before. Like League of Legends, like I've, it's always in my attitude that in League of Legends, being being good is means being able to adapt to the new meta, or to the latest patch, or what have you, latest season. Like, uh, like that adaptability is part of what makes you good, so you have to you can't sit on your laurels, you know, you can't be like, oh, I was good in this patch, uh, that, that means I'm good forever. No, like, if you're good on this patch, you should work to be good at the next patch, be good at the next patch, be good on the next patch, be good on the next patch. That's how it goes. That's how, that's how the game, I feel the game is set up. That's how Riot patches, that's how Riot updates. Like, cause some, some patches, some updates, they don't really... They're not always for balance, right? Sometimes they're just to change things around, and you have to shift your style to those changes. Like you can still play, like if you're in one, like a Wukong one trick, like you can still play. And if you're Wukong one trick and the meta is tanks, you know, you can say to yourself, "All right, I have to be this much better on Wukong to beat these players who might not be great, but they're playing the meta, so they have an advantage." So now you have to, so you as Wukong have to play that much better to beat them you know um it's totally you can play whatever you want if you want to only play wukong then that's fine but you also need to realize that you're starting a step below everyone else so you have to make up for that by being that much better that makes sense right but as you know like because it is hard to like for example i played a lot of anivia lots of anivia and then when the mana changes and the mage changes happened uh, she doesn't feel as strong, and I think games like last like what 25, 29 minutes now. So even if, like, 
assuming you get a rod, let's say 11, 11, 12 minutes, which is pretty good, right? That means you're not online until 22 minutes. You know, unless unless you're going crazy and killing everything. And so that means you weren't a full, even though you had an item or two items, you don't, you're not as strong as someone who got their item pre 15 minutes and it was a full done item. That, that makes sense, right? Like someone, if you're playing versus Zed and you build a rod first and he builds um, uh, Yomu's first, his Yomu's is at full power, you're still powering up. So there's a lot of time where you something can happen and set you behind and you can lose and that's what I feel is Nebula's problem. And I think Cassiopeia's problem and um, who else was I playing? Ori still seems okay, even though she's not great. Seems okay, but recently I've been practicing a lot of Talon. Uh, that didn't go great. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm mecha I'm making mechanical mistakes. I, personally, I feel like I'm mechanically good enough to play him. The problem is I'm messing up the mechanics of it. But I really I, I enjoy playing it. So I lose a lot, but I enjoy playing him. But I feel like he's a good one to play, or was rather. Patch notes just came out. Where Talon's getting nerfed now, so. That's another thing that kind of sucked when the meta, this meta in particular, this past like month or two, it's been crazy, you know, with the bot lane mages and everyone playing everything and Talia jungle and this and that. It feels like, do I put in the time to get better? You know, because it's an investment. You have to play a lot of games to get better at what you're trying to get better at. So, let's say, uh, yeah, so Talon. No, so let's say you're you're adapting to this crazy meta, and then the meta stabilizes, and now, but it stabilizes back to something else. So now you put in all this time to get better at this crazy meta, and it's not crazy anymore. Suddenly, so it feels like you wasted all that time, you know. So it's like at this moment, like, do I keep playing Anivia even though she's weak, or like try to learn something else that could possibly end up not being meta in another month or two, you know? That part. Kind of sucks. Although it is fun, it's funner to, it's more fun to watch now. Or sometimes even stuff that like you can't even. Or I, I personally, I don't even, I don't get mad when like, if I'm facing like a Yas Brom bot lane or whatever, and it's like you lose to it. It's like oh my, like, I mean it sucks. Losing sucks, but it's like, I mean, what are you gonna do? This is crazy, you know. You can't always like, it's just crazy. But it is, it is fun. It makes the game fun. It makes it. Less stale because I, uh, I enjoy League of Legends as an esport. I enjoy it as a uh, competitive game that I play. I enjoy it as a uh, something to keep my mind working, you know. So when you have a game with a totally structured and totally, um, totally fleshed out meta that you have, and it's or more rigid rather. The rigidness is sometimes the rigidness sometimes is fun because it's fun to to be able to play. In a very specific way or very precise way, like you, you know, you have to make these plays. Like I play a lot of StarCraft, and like you can see how well you're playing based on the well, not how well you're playing, but you can improve based on your like your timings, like your building timings, your uh, um, troop timings, what have you. And it's like you know, like and as you get better, you, some some things you do like what you were building at three minutes now you're building at two minutes and 45 seconds and suddenly that's amazing you know and you and you know there's and it's rigid because you have to do it every single game or mostly every single game depending on having but that rigidness gives you something to strive for you know and league of legends when the meta is rigid it gives you something to know you're doing well you know that makes sense right so when the meta is all crazy like it is now it's hard to say how good you're doing because winning isn't always exactly like the best especially in league as a 5v5 game just winning doesn't mean that you did anything in particular you, you, just because you win doesn't mean you a deserve to win doesn't mean you were better than your opponent you know all these all these things but when it's rigid you can say yeah i've made I, I took the right steps i made the right plays at the right time and that's why we win you know but the craziness is fun too because it's like a lot of kills and anything can happen and the games are over. I personally like that games are over like at 25 minutes. Like I've always hated League of Legends. Um, 
I always hated that League of Legends could take like, like especially when I started playing, they sometimes take forty five minute games. Everyone always loved them because it's like, oh my god, it's so much fun. I'm like, like, like six items or six items, but that's way too long for a game for me. Twenty five minutes seems good. It seems like a good, a good time, and I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy that the games are shorter. I'm not happy that almost every single champ I played is suddenly whack. Although Sejani Top has been doing pretty good, I must say. I'm enjoying Sejani Top. Um, what else? I think that's it for League. I mean, like I really wish I could write down my th uh, or express my thoughts on improving a little better. But at the end of the day, you're only going to improve if you make an effort to improve. You know, there's no when you're bronze, someone can say, "Oh, work on your CSing," and just working on your CSing, you'll go from bronze five to like bronze one to maybe silver. Period. You don't have to know anything else. You can just if you CS well, you will move up. You know, but at a certain point, like what's What's the difference between plat 1 with 100 LP and a diamond 5 with 0 LP? It's nothing, right? Like, but to get to diamond 5, you essentially have to be as good as a diamond 4, maybe? Hot high diamond 4, because you essentially have to... Cause if I'm remembering correctly, diamond 5 um, MMR-wise is lower than plat 1 MMR-wise. You know? But to get into it, you have to beat Plat fours, so like how? No, sorry. To beat to get into diamond five, you got to beat diamond fours. So like how? Like what comes to mind when you think, oh, what should I do to improve? Like obviously you have to work on your mechanics. Yes, I think it's still important. Roaming, rotation, uh, objective control, all these things. But these things matter before plat one too. You know, so it's it's really it's really hard to look at something. And it's really hard to look at your game and improve based on your game. Like even I haven't reviewed, I haven't uploaded reviews rather, but I have. I do look at my own games, and it's like, yeah, I died here. I had to not die there. You know, but it's like in other games, like you can play so well and you still lose. It's not always teammates' fault, but sometimes like I've had games where I've been like six and zero, and then I die twice and we lose. You know. And it's like, yeah, obviously, don't die twice, right? But before those two deaths, there's things I have to do to move my team towards the win. And I can't, it's not in my head what that is. You know, sometimes it's, like, I, sometimes I feel like I can play well, but I can't shot call well. Like, I, you know, so if I have someone directing me, I can win games. But if it's just up to me, then I feel so lost. And then, and I watch a lot of streams, I watch a lot of Dopa, Apto, I watch Baker streams, I watch a lot of Korean replay, and things seem to just happen, you know? So I'm missing something, and I don't know what that something is. And I'm still trying to figure it out, and I feel like that's why I'm not improving the way, I'm not advancing in the way I want to advance. That makes sense, right? Anyway, that's enough League of Legends. Um, a little extra stuff. I think last time, I mean, I hit affiliate around January or February for Twitch. I've done nothing with it. I haven't even uploaded uh, an emote, which kind of sucks. It feels like a squandered opportunity. Like I, like streaming has always been like a pipe dream of mine. Obviously, streaming for money. Um, I just don't know. Like, I think my focus was so wrong in the beginning. Like I was, I felt like if I became good at League of Legends, I'd eventually grow a following. And I worry too much about getting good at games when I should have been really just, I should have been 100% focused on just becoming popular. You know, because that, that's a totally different focus. Like, even if I was mediocre at League, but I focused on being popular on Twitch, you can still get views, maybe. You know, because you're, you're progressing or you're, uh, you're practicing your how to entertain, you're practicing this and that. You know, and that's totally different from just playing. Like, a lot of people stream themselves playing. That's what they're doing. They're playing their game with, you know, while the stream is on. That's not exactly what streaming is about. You know, streaming is its own form of entertainment. So if you're not practicing that, you're not really growing the way you should be or the way you think you should, which is where I failed. You know, I was more worried about getting good at League than, than getting good at streaming. So that's that. Uh, I still stream mostly 
you know, for friends or whatever, I get like three, four views if I'm lucky, which is fine. You know, I'd rather play. I, 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 it's fun to play. It's fun for your friends to watch you play. That's fine. I would love hundreds of views, but I think that's another. That's a compl that's a completely different skill that I may not have. You know, that's unfortunate to say. It makes me sad to say, but you gotta be realistic sometimes. Unless something, unless I get really, really lucky, you know, with a nice uh, raid or a retweet or what have you. But other than that, ugh, I, I I fail myself. I want to keep working at it. I want to keep doing stuff, but between full time work and having to do stuff out after work, it's just it's really hard to work on. Um. It's hard to work on your Twitch stream, Twitch channel. Like, oh, same thing with uh, YouTube, you know? Like, well, I got a couple more subscribers now, so thank you. New subscribers, appreciate the love. But it's hard to grow a channel if your focus isn't to get better at this, you know? Like, you have to get better at YouTube. It's not just a matter of the right games or the right editing or what have you. You have to get better at it. Like, what it means to have a channel, you know. Um, the only other thing, well, I think a couple, I think in the last vlog I mentioned I got accepted to merch by Amazon, which is a uh, uh, print-on-demand service from Amazon. Uh, I've been working on that, and it's, things have been going okay, you know. Um, not great. Some people post ridiculous numbers, revenue, sales. I'm not there yet, but given, given how much effort I put in, which... Um, is low effort on purpose. I just want to uh, fill up uh, what are called slots. Each slot is like a design you can put, use. Or yeah, and I have a hundred slots right now, so I needed to fill them up. I would say the majority of them are pretty low effort. Really, just text, no designs or anything. And some of them have been doing okay. So I feel like if I continue at least some low effort designs mixed in with some really high effort designs, then uh, I'll be in a better place. So I'm hoping. To keep going with that, and hopefully that keeps growing, and hopefully, um, I don't. Hopefully, I make more money. But all right, um, I think that's it for now. This is a big. This is a longer vlog than I met, than I originally thought I'd make. But uh, if you stuck around this long. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. GGS. Peace. Until next time.